This is video 13 of my new invention. This is my new transmission and stuff. Uh, I was going to start show you these guys how this is. It's pretty neat how I made this new transmission. It's all got some brass and steel gears in it. Uh, here's the clutches that I was telling you about. Uh, you put your one inch square magnets and then it kind of comes around and it catches these magnets all the way along here and makes a chain reaction at here you could just kind of take a look at it here's uh, another clutch here on the end I'm going to put and that is you can see that's the other new clutch that's the double clutch I was trying to tell you about and over here you could see what it looks like from this angle over here this is the uh, first prototype in that and what I want to do is kind of show you so Maybe if you haven't looked at video 5 or whatever and that, and you haven't been up to date, uh, you can kind of see what's going on. As I'll just hook this wire up to this here, you can see it's oscillating back and forth in that very fastly. That's the whole idea behind it. You can see it's, by, as I zoom in, How fast it is, it's almost hitting the top one. And down here on the bottom, almost hitting the top magnet. And here on the bottom. That's the whole thing behind it. So as this thing rotates, you can see it from this angle here. It, it's oscillating very fastly. Let me uh, unhook this for a minute. Basically, as this flywheel moves around, it catches the magnets in here and makes a chain reaction. And it just kind of moves down away. That's what I got in here. This is where the clutches are coming together. I've kind of put it together. It's still not all the way built. But you can kind of see the idea of what I'm doing here. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm, I'm just going to hook up this other transmission and I'll show you how it works just hook these little wires up to this and add this kind of roughly put together start firing this baby up I don't have it all the way hooked up on the clutches it's just running through you can see as you take a look at this running here. All these parts are turning. The next turning up there. It's just kind of free right now. Uh, what I got is a lot of upgrades in it. You can see all the counterweights and stuff to make to get a lot of momentum out of such a little small motor right here. Just a little motor you get like in toy cars and stuff. I'm going to hit this. Okay, this is a whole lot better transmission than this one over here. This one, you only have a few gears and stuff. You got to start out with, uh, you maybe got to jump five, anywhere from four to five gears, ratios and stuff. Not very many choices and stuff. You know, you got you got you got a certain speed you got to settle for, and that's it. Over here, I got all kinds of right inside there. All I got to do is pull that pin out of there and put another gear in it. I got all these gears right here. Let me back out. That I could choose from. I could go with either one of these gears and just jump up at one tooth at a time. And get that exact speed that I want. I also have these gears over here, which I could put in right over in here. Let me zoom right on in, right there, and change the gear ratio. So I got quite a few combinations that I can get. This is way much better transmission and stuff in that than I had before in that. The thing about these clutches. 
I also I can have this clutch and as it rotates I can have this one here too it's like a double clutch or I could pull this clutch off and do a test and see how far it travels down the line and then it comes back or I could put this clutch on hook this clutch up you know I'm just putting some set screws and magnets in there I'm, I, these are kind of roughed in I'm still need some more detailing or I could have it synchronized with this side like that or I could change it turn it out 90 degrees like this and see what happens as these things rotate it's this 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 shaft goes all the way through as you can see there's a shaft and it goes all the way through right there see that shaft I'm gonna put bearings inside there and I'm gonna put some set screws and stuff put them all in there and it runs that off that so that's another neat upgrade I got on this and that so you got all these gear ratios you can change to where this thing only had a few things that you could only pick from and it wasn't very much and that another thing is I'm going to start working with this other little thing I'm going to start working here another upgrade it's going to come down inside there I'm starting to work on it I haven't gotten it yet but I'm, I'm starting to run some tests on it and that uh, I'm just going to order the bearings and I put that in. There's going to be like 34 bearings. I'm going to put <clears throat> bearings in here, all the way through inside here. And I might even, I might let this run out here open because it's probably not going to vibrate that much. I don't think. I don't think I need to encase that. I want to start off with, right now in here, these are uh, uh, a grade 42 Magnets. I'm going to try 52 that same size and see if it changes anything uh, Before I get all the rest of it when I start tuning it I'm gonna to have to start one section at a time this section then this section then this section then this section I Got to do them one at a time. I just can't just throw the magnets in there and see what I got I'm gonna to have to take off certain sections and then just work my way down the line with this as I start tuning it it's just not going to be something where you just throw it right in there and it's done and that it takes a lot of time and that as you can see this thing is just beautiful I mean the way it's coming out and everything you know I'm gonna put some set screws inside of here to hold the magnets in and I got to bolt this in in here you know I got some more work to do on that like I said more detailing and then when I get this other it's going to be like a double pivot thing here I got coming up on this right over here as you can see I had this thing here and uh, it, it kind of comes out well I got something way better than that this is this isn't very good uh, there's just too much space as you can see in between there as it comes in and out I got something way better than that and it's going to go right down inside there right over here right down inside there so pretty soon you'll see this coming together and let you take another look at the transmission in that this is pretty cool right here this is these are brass this is brass here this is a steel gear right here that's a steel gear there's another gear inside of here aluminum one I mean uh, that's plastic one right there that's steel that's brass that's plastic that's brass and that's steel these are two steel gears in that so I got all kinds of combinations and stuff I also got this set up too as you can see over on this other side uh, where I could adjust this in for when I want to adjust the motor in so I could adjust that in and out so I'm just gonna hang loose in here and I'm gonna get some more stuff going on this and I'll be right back with you as soon as I get some of these other upgrades done thank you